Thanks, Matt. Enough. So the last time I saw Matt before today, we ran in, into each other on a Friday night uh, in a pick and save in Wausau, I think. So first, as Matt said, my name is Mike Roach. I'm the director of business development at the Alliance. Um, it's great to be in a room with so many like-minded people, a lot of you I know. Um, so what you're going to hear here, a lot of you already know. I hope you can take a couple of nuggets from it. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with us, uh, we have our table right outside, so if there's anything that piques your interest or you have additional questions after we're done, feel free to stop out and talk to myself or Jennifer or Bobby Joe. So we're going to start by going uh, through the alliance by the numbers quick. And I didn't do the fancy in and out. That was the marketing folks. So five or less. When people say to me, tell me who the alliance is in five words or less, I tell them we're a network. Period. So like Dr. Murray said, just like the Bucas, but that's really where the similarity ends. So we've been in business 35 years. We were started by seven companies in Madison who were after a lot of the same things that the people in this room are after. Transparency, they want access to their information, and they want their employees to be able to go get care where it's appropriate and where they can get the best coverage. So the biggest one of those seven that everybody knows is American Family Insurance. As this is the marketing number. I'll tell you the number is a little bit higher than this. Um, we have 425 member owners. And I say member owners because we're a not-for-profit cooperative. So the things that bring us into the office every day are the same things that you work with your consultant on. How do we bring down the price of health care, not only for the employees, but for the employer as well? Right now, we cover a little more than 60,000 employees throughout the state of Wisconsin and a little bit of Illinois. When I started here 10 years ago, that number was about 18,000. And if you'd have told me it ever would get to 60, I'd have told you you were nuts. So when you take 60,000 employees and all their dependents, that leads to a lot of healthcare spend. So the last rolling 12 months in this ended uh, the 15th of July, our employers and employees purchased almost $1.2 billion worth of healthcare. So when you think of us as a regional network, that's a lot of healthcare being bought. But what employers want to know is, what did you save us on that? So our contracts generated almost half a billion dollars worth of savings during that same time. This is the thing that I think we're most proud of and what is the reason that employers come to the Alliance. Right now, about 40% of our large clients, and that's employers 75 and up have some sort of some sort of steerage in their plan whether they're using a direct primary care provider um, like we've heard it, that's something that has exploded in wisconsin in the last few years um, they're using uh, one of our premier networks which we can talk about uh, outside with you if you want to a little bit uh, or they've got a steerage plan in place whether they're giving that care to employees for free or giving them money to incent them to go um, this is growing if you talk to our Account execs, this is the time of year that they're working with uh, consultants and members. That number is going to go way up. So as a not-for-profit cooperative, we think that we're the voice of the self-funded and in a growing number of cases, level-funded employers. Employers who are looking for an alternative to the status quo and you're getting a 12% increase and you're not going to understand why because we're not going to give you any of your data. So there's really four pillars that we have. We'll start with, with payment reform. You know, the old fee-for-service model, it rewarded providers for doing more stuff. So we've gone away from that. We are big fans of bundled payments. And the vast majority of our contracts now are based on percents of Medicare. So if you are bored to death, you can go out to the Medicare website, look up any zip code, and if it says... Medicare pays $300 for an MRI, and you know the Alliance pays 200% of Medicare, anybody can do that math. Now, I can't balance a checkbook, and even I can do it. Provider network design. Um, you know, we believe, and this is one of the things that, that was at our, our founding principles, that not every system does everything the best. So you will... And I, I hate to use the word never, ever, and always, but I'm going to do it now. 
you'll never see the Alliance talk to anybody in this room about a narrow network. What we will talk to you all day about is tiering of networks. We think that there's value to be had in everything that is in that healthcare ecosystem. And it's our job to bring that to the employers and consultants who work with us. Benefit plan design, you know, we talked about it a couple of times already. We believe that tiering of a network is a great way to get employees engaged and help them find the value in healthcare. And I, I think the most important one is the transparency because you can't fix what you can't measure. So if you don't have the numbers about where did my spend go, what is the, the contract amount that my network has with Hospital X, how do I know if that's a value? So you heard Dr. I think Dr. Murray talk about um, the no gag clauses in healthcare. We've never had gag clauses in our contract. So if you call the Alliance and say, I need to know what it's gonna cost to get a knee replaced at TCO in Minneapolis, we'll tell you the number. Um, we think it's important to help everybody understand the prices in the ecosystem. So for those of you who don't know us, how big is the Alliance? This is our primary service area. Everything in blue, we believe we have all of, if not the vast majority of the providers in that, uh, that county. So whether it's major hospital systems, ancillary providers, um, ambulatory surgical centers, relationships with the direct primary care providers that are out there, we have them. So then the question is, well, what about the, the Green Bay market or over into Eau Claire? We have agreements with Trilogy Health Solutions and Kyle and the team are here somewhere to get access to all the providers on the eastern side of the state that you need and mail. That's a big one on the west side if you're in La Crosse or up through uh, the Chippewa Valley that you're gonna wanna have. We also have the, uh, an agreement with WPS powered by Auxian and we have the ability to put their statewide network around the Alliance. So we could spend 45 minutes talking about this slide. We did an analysis of some of our larger employers and we determined that if you steered the steerable procedures and we talk about you know, MRIs, CTs, um, knee replacements, colonoscopies, you can save 10 to 12% of your spend just by doing that. Now, you know, we talked a little bit about direct primary care providers. We think they are an integral part in order to get to that 10 to 12%. Because as healthcare consumers, what have we done forever? If the doc says, go down the hall, go to the first desk and schedule your MRI, that's what we've done. So if you're using direct primary care and your employees go to that physician, what are they gonna do? They'll listen to the doctor and say, well, you go down the hall, out the door, and go to the MRI provider down the street where we can get that scan for $600. So this is one of the things, if you're interested, stop out and talk to us and we can elaborate on it. So we talked about the tiered network. This is one example of what some employers use. The piece I'd like you to focus on is in the middle where it says you can set your deductibles and coinsurances. One of the great things about the Alliance is we're not prescriptive in anything we do. We do not know what your goals are for your health plan and where you need to put your deductibles and coinsurances to accomplish those. The other thing we get asked quite a bit, well, how do I know who to put in that tier one? That's the information we give you. Our director of product development uh, monitors the contracts that we have and that we sign. So we update that and give that information out to the employers and uh, providers in our network. So this is just an example. We moved Milwaukee because that's where we're at. But we can provide this if you're in Green Bay, Wausau, La Crosse, Madison, uh, Eau Claire, to show you the variance in the, the costs and also you know, who are the providers we should be steering to. Um, we have this for probably another 20 procedures. Really, it's anything that's schedulable, we can look up for you. So. Oh, I'm getting the time to go button. Um, so luckily for me, that's it. Uh, so like I said, if you have any questions, Bobby, Joe, and Jennifer and I will be around um, for the next couple of days. We're right outside, so if you don't stop and talk to us, we'll tackle you. Um, 
That's what I got. Thank you very much.